I'm going to go with my number four, and that is uh, safety Richard LeCount, uh, one of the best ball hawks in the country, uh, who I think would be uh, a really good pick in that fourth round range for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, LeCount is a ball hawk. He, he notched four interceptions and two forced fumbles in 2019. In 2020, he had three interceptions in just five games. Uh, what you got to love about Richard LeCount is uh, his intelligence. This is an instinctual defensive back uh, who is a leader on and off the field. You saw him a lot uh, calling the plays there for Georgia. Uh, LeCount is a guy who started 27 of 28 games over the last two seasons. Uh, he, that was uh, a part of an elite Georgia team. He was a former five-star recruit. Obviously, this kid has a ton of talent. Uh, and this is a guy who was absolutely ridiculous back in 2019. Uh, who had two interceptions against Baylor in that Sugar Bowl. Uh, the biggest knock on Richard LeCount is, and the reason why he's falling here in that fourth, fifth round range, is that he has lack of size and tackling. Uh, he's only five foot 11. He's 190 pounds wet. Uh, plus he had some really bad tape on some bad missed tackles. Uh, you, when you watch him live, like uh, he clearly, he plays soft. This is a guy that's gonna have to beef up in the NFL. Um, and he doesn't possess elite athleticism. He, he gets the job done due to his instincts, due to his amazing uh, football IQ. Um, so despite that lack of explosiveness, though, he does work on rerouting wide receivers at the line of scrimmage. Uh, he's very fluid laterally. He's uh, not a straight line guy, uh, but he where it counts as a cornerback, I think, like in between. So uh, I think he would be a terrific pick. Uh, you look at last year, the Eagles drafted Kayvon Wallace, uh, who is suited probably uh, to probably be that like Malcolm Jenkins role down the line. Um, so uh, you look at Richard LeCount uh, fitting right in that cover two uh, scheme under new defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon. Uh, I think this guy's going to fall because of that length, lack of strength, because of that lack of speed. That shouldn't discount how good and talented this kid is. Uh, I, I would love to see the Eagles take a flyer on this guy in that fifth or sixth round.